Welcome back. The Ghana Police Force is sparing no effort to ensure the strict enforcement of the emergency measures implemented by the Public Health Ministry to slow the spread of the deadly coronavirus. Isaiah Braffitt brings the details. To date, the police force has arrested over 40 persons for breaching those measures which are geared towards slowing the spread of the deadly coronavirus. Regional Deputy Commander for Region 4, Senior Superintendent Philip Azor, made the disclosure during an interview with InfoHub. So far to date, um, in excess of 40 were arrested and charged. They're currently now um, being placed before the court. Um, so far, five persons have been placed before the court where they um, pay fines and other you know, punishment that the court awarded. Um, nevertheless, the reason why we're having this um, slow rate um, before the court because of the restriction of the court. They only take operate, I think, like three days per week, and they take five such cases per week. Commander Azur also highlighted that to further enforce the curfew, there are a number of roadblocks which are strategically in place. The reason for that roadblock is to, you know, persons on the road were driving to stop those persons and question them as to to see where there's any legitimate reason for being on the road. If you have no reason being on the road, we ask you to go home. And if you commit, continue to commit that breach, then you'll be prosecuted. The traffic task force, the commander said, also works during the day to ensure minibuses and taxis follow the 50% passenger rate. If they are found to have breached the measures, they are warned before an arrest is made. So it's not a case where you would have, um, where you would commit an offense for the first time and be charged you, you're warned. But if you continue again, then we, there's strict enforcement and we have you placed before the court. The Guyana Police Force continues to call on persons and businesses to adhere to the emergency measures. Isaiah Braffitt, for InfoHub.